What is going on everybody and welcome to episode number seven of our Pokemon Emerald randomized luck lock. If you don't know what this is, basically the whole Nuzlocke rules are all basically the same. The only change is we only get one Pokeball to try and catch each Pokemon or each encounter that we get. So it does make it a little bit trickier, definitely a lot harder, and we're seeing that as we've gone through. But we did get a new party member really quickly uh, that I would like to take a look at because Truthfully, I just recorded this morning and I haven't actually looked at it since. So, we do have our uh, Powerball here, level 5, sitting with Charge and Tackle. No good moves yet, but uh, I do believe we'll be able to get some, and it does evolve at level 30. It's also a new typing for us, which we desperately, desperately needed. As you can tell from our team, we're a little bit limited on that. So, what we are going to do today... Uh, before we take on the gym uh, in Duford, is we're actually going to go up to this cave at the very top, uh, grab a couple items, grab a couple, well, grab an encounter at the very least. Oh, I guess this is also an encounter. Um, let's, let's train up a little bit first, but I think we'll get two encounters, actually. I completely neglected that. That's awesome. Uh, so we might actually get two here, which would be just insanely good. We might be able to start filling out the team a little bit. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is go straight out into Sackboy here, uh, because if this thing self-destructs, Sackboy can take it. It's not going to even affect it. We'll be in good shape there. So let's see what happens. Thankfully, just going for the tackle. No big deal. Let's go ahead and use that Nightshade. Oh, this is going to be a protect stall. Guys, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's watching this series. This is a brand new thing for us. We've obviously done double protect. What? Uh, we've all obviously been doing the shorts for quite some time. Actually, we might have finished the the red Nuzlocke by the time this episode goes out. In fact, I hope we have, and I hope we've started something new. Uh, but at the time, the the next episode or the first episode, excuse me, of this series is actually going out tomorrow as I am recording this. Uh, and so we're actually very ahead of the game, which feels awesome uh, because it just allows me to spend a little bit more time working on content for you guys, which I hope you will. I sincerely hope you'll enjoy three protects in a row. What? Um, anyway, uh, all that being said, guys, I am very excited for this series. It's been an absolute blast recording it. I really hope you guys have been enjoying it. I will, of course, be checking comments after the fact. So at the time this releases, obviously, we'll be well into it. But I am really tremendously excited for this. I think it's going to be a great time. I think what we'll do before we actually grab the encounter is check these items over here. Make sure we're fighting all these trainers. This just gets Powerball leveled up a little bit, hopefully, uh, which is going to be really helpful because, again, we need every little ounce of help we can get in this luck lock. It's very, very tricky. Okay, Dragon Rage Claws is a thing. I'm just going to go ahead and say uh, because we do know that this thing can pack that uh, that Dragon Rage, and we certainly don't want to just lose out to that. That's kind of a silly thing uh, to lose out to. So I think I think we can go out into Sarah here just in case. Um, Sarah does have a lot of HP, but I imagine this thing is just going to Dragon Rage. Oh, we should have. Oh, sh okay, so what we need to do? Screw this. Let's just go out into Sackboy. It's thrashing, it's gonna confuse itself. Hopefully we can just mitigate all the damage here and it'll hurt itself before it uh, actually runs out here. So that would be great. Uh, let's go ahead and Nightshade. Just gonna get this thing out of here as quickly as we can. 18 damage should do a good a bit. Yeah, there we go. Locked into that move. Uh, and here we go, we got this. Uh, Dragon Rage Claws might not even need to be a thing, which would be awesome, truthfully. Uh, I'm just gonna knock off here. Let's save the nightshade. I don't think we really need to worry too much. All right, cool. Can we get Powerball leveled up? Level six, there we go. Level seven, okay. Awesome, got level seven on uh, on Powerball here and a Dust Clops. Uh, I'm truthfully just gonna stay in um, and let this be as is. I'm not gonna worry about fighting thing the, uh, the Powerball here. Uh, just because this thing does have disable and it can get a little tricky. Uh, there it is. Knockoff is disabled. That's okay because we have that nightshade. Get this thing out of here. No problem at all. Uh, but that gets that out. Perfect. 268 experience too. That's a pretty substantial chunk. Uh, all right. Uh, let's go into Powerball here. It's just a Poochiana, but again, we have to get levels on Powerball here. Uh, I did not train in between episodes. I don't think we're going to train before the gym either, to be honest, uh, which is a little terrifying. This gym could easily just wreck us. 
I'm gonna try and go into Spitfire here. Um, I don't love Poochiana against this, uh, but we'll see how much a bite does, I'm assuming. No, it's just a stand attack. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get the, uh, the flame body or the burn off of this Ember, which would just give us... Oh, okay. Or we just wreck it immediately, and it's not even a problem. <laughs> awesome. Heck yeah, guys. That's another trainer down. Again, there should be a couple of items here. I'm waiting to get these encounters because, again, we might get a Master Ball and we might find a really cool encounter. There's another Miracle Seed. We've actually already got one of those, uh, but I'll take another one. All right, so I think... Yes. A rare candy? Uh, truthfully, not that bad. Unfortunately, no items, which kind of sucks. I'm going to heal up before we do anything, uh, just to make sure we are squared away here, guys, because again, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, these luck locks are tricky. Uh, I don't know. We have a couple great balls, I know, and I think we have a handful of pokeballs, so I don't actually think... I think we have one great ball. I think we have one great ball. Uh, all right, so let's do the Route 106 encounter before we do anything else. Uh, let's make sure we also have... I'm going to put Sackboy out in front. It just can tank hits a lot better than anything else right now. Uh, because it's a ghost type, it's hard to hit also for these early side... The, the early uh, areas in the game. A lot, of, a lot of pound, tackle, that kind of stuff. If we actually can find something, we'll see. Oh, a bite! All right, awesome. Now again, it's an old rod, so this is going to be level 5 regardless. Oh my gosh! Uh, yes! That's really good. That is really, really, really good. I... Oh, 18. Do we think it has 18? I think it has 18. We're risking it. Please don't kill. Please don't kill. <laughs> Guys, if we could get a Chikorita, not only is it a really good typing for us, we can't affect this thing status-wise. We just have to hope for the best, guys. Oh, please, 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 please. Luck be with us. Come on. Not even close. Dang it. Dang it. How cool. I mean, look, it was a high catch rate, uh, or I guess a low catch rate. However, you, it's hard to catch. But I was really hoping we could get that. That's the power of the luck lock. So that is it in action, guys. We only get one Pokeball for each Pokemon. Just makes it that much harder. Uh, that much harder. All right, let's see what we can get here. Something we can catch, please. A Heracross. Um, yeah, I actually really like Heracross. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. I will take it. Look, we can definitely Nightshade this thing. But we did waste our Great Ball. I say waste. I think it was worth it to use, but we are kind of in a predicament here because I don't know if we'll be able to do too much to this thing. I mean, we do have Powerball we could easily send out. Let's see really quickly. I, there's... it does have static. Alright. Alright, we're gonna try something. This is a bit risky. This is a bit risky, but we are gonna try something here. That's fine. Uh, actually, that's less than fine. I don't know what charge is really gonna do, but sure, we'll charge. Please hit me with like just a tackle. It's gonna have like horn attack and that defense fall is so scary. Let's tackle it. Let's tackle it. I don't think we're gonna kill it. Ooh, please don't do too much. Ooh, oh no. Okay, well we can't risk, we can't risk it. God. I really was hoping for the static to give a paralyze here, so that way we could just make sure, like, hey, we've got our best possible chances. I will say, Powerball having static might be a bit of a flex. Oh, what? No, that's not what I meant to do. All right, we just have to risk it. Ah, please. I don't know, guys. I don't know. One shake away. One shake away. We can't, we can't use another Pokeball. Oh, this luck lock is so... Oh, we could have hit it. This luck lock is terribly difficult. I'm just going to say the one Pokeball per encounter rule, basing it entirely on luck, not entirely, but like pretty close still on luck. Oh my gosh, this is difficult. Okay, well, no new encounters, guys. Nothing. That feels really terrible. 
but there's just not much else we're gonna be able to do here. I think what we'll do, we're gonna head into the do for gym. I think that's the next step for us here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll try and level up Powerball just based off of some of these early trainers. We'll see where we're at before we take on um, whatever his name is. <laughs> Uh, the, the gym leader, because I don't want to just like throw away a run for this. You know what I mean? But I do want to train up Powerball. Uh, and I think this is going to be the best way to do it. I always have to remember where to actually go. This is such a... Okay, there we go. Alright, well, fingers crossed, guys. Uh, we have to hope they don't have anything too crazy. Uh, we did face that Kyogre at one point, which was terrifying. Man, this would be... Oh, crap, we forgot... Hmm. Alright, we'll swap Powerball in. Totally forgot about swapping Powerball in, but that's fine. This is where having Powerball leveled up would be awesome. Uh, but the reality is, like, I don't want to waste you guys' time too much with training stuff. Like, we'll get there, um, and if we need to do it in between episodes, we'll pause before we hit the gym leader, and that's totally fine. We'll take a break, we'll jump into uh, some training before we do too much, and it'll be perfectly fine. But we are going to grab a level here on Sackboy. Uh, which is quite helpful. Every level counts, right? I want to say that Ace is level like 21. That might be completely off base, I'll be honest. I have no idea. All right, let's make sure Powerball is up front. Uh, let's also make sure we do the Warren Berry trick if we've got more, more Warren Berries. We have one. Yeah, that's fine. That would have actually been quite helpful against the Heracross. It probably would have given us another shot at uh, the static. Just would have been nice. Would have been nice. All right. Oh crap, this is a double battle. Well, uh, we're gonna take some swap shenanigans. <laughs> that is fine, that is fine. They only have one Pokemon each. Porygon! Yes! That's my little fella. I love that. All right. Uh, this is actually kind of nice because Bayonet is, like, super good against this. Um, I think we will... We'll go into Spitfire here. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, go back, go back, go back. Why is... Can I not go back? Oh, no, I can't go back. Crap. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, this is fine. Oh, my gosh. I am... Well, it's kind of fine. I'm swapping out two Pokemon I did not mean to. Oh no. Oh, that's weird. I'm sorry, guys. That was very strange. I don't really know what just happened there. Uh, we can't actually uh, use Nightshade on these, so we're just gonna... Ooh, that's a little terrifying. All right, so we definitely need to double into the uh, Persian spot. It's also the fastest thing on the field, which is terrifying. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and pound this thing. Let's go ahead and knock off this thing. No Psybeam? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, thankfully, we are super bulky. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoo, that was really scary. Okay, uh, so Sarah is going to keep pounding this thing. We have to swap in Spitfire. Oh my gosh. We are playing this not very carefully. Uh, that's fine. You can bite me all day. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's terrifying. Sarah flinched! No, come on. Alright, uh, let's ember this thing. Conversion? Cool. That's fine. Into a psychic type. Okay. Can we get a burn? Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> that's sick. Alright, not that it, I think, really will matter. Um, because I do think the pound will take out Persian, which is good. That's just the scarier of the two mons, I think. Now I feel a little safer, and Powerball's gonna grab some levels here, potentially. Learning Screech, not great, but that's fine. Sarah getting a level, I like it. Can Spitfire get one? Guys, the whole team, the whole squad, except for, I suppose, our, uh, <laughs> our starter. All right. Sybeam, cool. Hit Sarah all day. Hit Sarah all day. That's fine. That's a crit. Sarah is chonky, man. So chonky. All right, we're just gonna keep doing the thing. Please don't hit Spitfire. All right. Awesome. Seems to be that Sarah is the bigger threat of these two. Awesome. Spitfire, you gem you. Uh, so Powerball should get a little. Everybody's gonna get a little. Awesome. 
I am going to go heal up. 100% going to go heal up. We are not feeling super confident. Um, but again, I don't want to be over-leveled either, guys. That's one thing that, um, you know, it takes away the fun. I say the fun, it takes away all of the risk if we're over-leveled and just like, yeah, sure, we got this. Uh, that's no fun. We want to have a hard-ish time doing this, but we don't want it to be, like, impossible either, so. We'll see. We will see. Um, I may, I might look up the ace. Uh, the ace level. Uh, it depends how we feel against some of these other trainers, though, because I, I just... We just can't risk dying either, you know what I mean? We're so low-leveled, it's so scary. Alright, thankfully this is just a single. <laughs> the double battle was a little tricky, uh, but it's fine. Another Persian, my goodness. Um, honestly, that's kind of okay, I think. I think we just go Sarah. Like, this, the bite does nothing to Sarah. And you can growl all day, bro, but we have, we are not, like, in any kind of rush here. I think we just pound. I guess we could double slap. Scratch did a lot. I guess that, I mean, it is, oh, uh, we're locked into, it, choice band, or choice, yeah. Please stop scratching. Please don't get a crit, either. All right, so we might want to... We got room for one more. Growl's fine. Um, all right. This is a little sketchy. Bite's great. Bite me all day. Except don't flinch. That would be, be great. Do we even have potions left? We do. I really wish we... Do we have super potions? We have a fresh water. And we do have a super potion. I mean, they're both the same, I guess, so... We'll go ahead and throw a super potion on Sarah. Just, guys, again, I'm not risking a thing. We can't. We literally can't. All right. So two more pounds should take this thing out. Yeah. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. All right, cool. Persian is creepy. That just means that, like, Persian's gonna be a problem for us. All right. Level nine. All right. I hate to keep doing this, but we are gonna go heal up one more time. We just, we just have to. I'm sorry, I know it's running back to the Pokemon Center, guys, but I am not in the mood to lose them on today. All right, especially with such a, such a tricky team, you know? I wish we had like Thundershock or Thunderbolt or something. Even just like Discharge would be an electric type move. We could use it to fight some water types. That would be helpful. Um, I'm also curious, really quickly, what is Powerball's actual defense? Its defense is 14, so it's actually more specially bulky. That's fine. Um, our special bulk is like off the charts, man. We have got so much, between Sarah and, I mean, I think that between Sarah and uh, Powerball, we should be in good shape on the special side. now. Physically, not so hot, but we'll see. There's a Scyther. So again, an electric type move would be kind of sick. Uh, we are gonna swap out into, oof. Could this have Pursuit? I think we just have to risk it. All right, uh, Spitfire should be able to take this thing out pretty easily, but it's a matter of how much damage it does to us. Quick Attack's a little scary, but so I think we can live one more. Oh, and we go first. They must not have used Squeak Attack. All right, sick. Spitfire, gaining that XP. I love it. Absolutely love it. Powerball up to level 10 as well. That's super helpful. All right. I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. All right, so there is one more trainer there and then the leader. I think we're gonna just, but there's also a trainer down that way. I don't think we fought them. All right. Powerball's getting to the point where we might be able to use it semi-safely. Not against a clay at all. Uh, at all. That's not happening. I don't know what this thing is going to have, uh, to be honest. I'm going to try and just go Sackboy, I think. I don't think Sackboy needs any training. And Sarah and... Uh, ooh, does that... How much does that do? That was a crit? So Knockoff is super effective. 
I believe. But I think, I think we're in nightshade range. Like we just need to play it safe, man. Play it safe. Okay. Um. I wish Sarah could hit this thing. That's kind of the trick is I don't think Sarah can actually hit it. <laughs> so I think we heal up. Let's lap should be fine, yeah. The accuracy drop is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Um, and as long as we fight through it, yeah, we should be okay now. Claydol is a really cool Pokemon. It's a tough Pokemon, man. All right, so we should be able to hit Nightshade here, and if we connect, it's dead. Ugh, we didn't, we didn't. Okay, Mud Slap is okay. Again, the accuracy drop sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Can we hit? Sack boy, no. Stop mud slapping. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Uh, like, I almost just want to swap in Sarah here. We can't swap in Powerball, period. It has mud slap. Definitely not a good idea. That's fine. Um, the reason I'm doing this is to reset the accuracy drops, by the way. Um, so what we can do here, pretty safely because of the especially bulky Sarah, is just go ahead and uh, get a little bit of, of health back on, uh, on Sackboy here, and then swap it back in to take a Nightshade. But e even, if, uh, even if they do the Mud Slap here, we're resetting better than what we were at. Uh, in terms of accuracy drops, so even if we got one, we're still sitting better than the two we were at, or three, before. So there we go, guys. We took down the clay doll. That was a bit of a trickier one, uh, just from the, the accuracy drops. Powerball getting to level 11. I like it. All right, so what we're going to do is this. We're going to go heal up. We're going to make sure that this one trainer is the only one we have left. Do we even... Yeah, we should heal up. We should definitely heal up. Oh, we fought both of them. That was the double. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go heal up and we are gonna call it here before Brawly. I think what we're gonna do in between episodes is just make sure that um, that Powerball is kind of up to snuff on, on levels. So that way it's at least a usable Pokemon because I just don't think it is there yet. Uh, we might see where Sarah and uh, Spitfire get as well. I do kind of want to get things to a point where we're not just gonna like completely die. We have to be safe. Uh, so we may get things up a little bit over leveled, but not too crazy. And we'll see you guys in the next one. We're going to be taking on Brawly in the next one. We got to go find Steven, deliver the letter, and then we can make our way over to Slateport City in the next episode, depending on time. So do stay tuned for that, guys. I want to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you guys for being a part of this. It is an absolute blast to have you guys here. I really do hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one, guys. I'll see you then.